This man, Captain Reed, is to work. And before he is finished, he will look further than Columbus did when he sailed to discover the new world. It is not just a story about traveling great distances. It is eight o'clock in the morning, and he will get home from his journey at 11 o'clock tonight. So it is also a story about speed. Captain Reed's grandfather could never have imagined such a journey or such speeds. But Captain Reed himself dreamed of such a time. He learned to fly 16, and by the time he was 20, he was in Air Force uniform, teaching others how to fly. <laughs> it was the first year of the war. <laughs> the flimsy looking plane of wood and wire and canvas which Reed first learned to fly was very different from the aircraft of today, with an instrument panel not much more complicated than the dashboard of a car. But the jet plane which is being readied for the journey he will make today is a vast and complicated machine needing the skills of many expert people. Two or three times a week, pilots like Reed head out for journeys that will take them to England, Switzerland, Japan, the West Indies. But the plane he will pilot today has such range and speed that it has brought the countries of the world as close as if the Earth itself had shrunk. At, uh, seven, morning, six, boss. Thousand. Morning, morning, by the way. Well, the flight to Jamaica this morning, we planned you Montreal jet route to Idlewild, from Idlewild jet 79 victory to Wilmington, North Carolina, and then control 1151 from Wilmington down to Nassau. Today's flight is from Montreal to Jamaica. The plane is so huge it can carry comfortably 137 passengers. Most of them are dressed warmly, but their luggage contains bathing suits and suntan lotion, where they will soon be in a very different climate. Well, the weather for the flight today looks just about as good as it could be, almost VFR all the way. The surface low, or the main surface low on the six Zulu map, is moving through just to the north of Montreal at the moment. The cold front, which extends southward from this low, has already moved through to the east of us. The briefing can tell the crew what weather conditions they will run into four hours from now, and they will be almost 2,000 miles south. 2,000 to 3,000 scattered cumulus with a few range. The aircraft is now out on the ramp, being readied for takeoff. Food has been put on board and the stewardesses are arriving. Oh, very good. In fact, the whole weather picture is excellent for today's flight. They've been checking all the details of the flight plan, fuel supplies, flying altitude, arrival times, and so on. And it's only when they have satisfied themselves that all is in order that the captain signs his name. John well, gentlemen, I guess we might as well board the airplane now, eh? Yes, 30 minutes or so. Three men make up the crew. The captain, his first officer, Jean Gilbert, and second officer, Leo Slomchevsky, each of whom can pilot the plane if necessary. Morning, Louise. Morning, Captain. Morning, right. gentlemen. How does the weather look down south? Very good, both in Nassau and Jamaica. Flying time announcement? 35,000 feet, four hours and five minutes. Morning. Morning, Ray. Morning. But even after the crew is aboard, there remain a great many details which must be checked. Okay, Leo, uh, fire a warning check. Number one. One, two, three. Number two. One, two, three. Number three. One, two, three. Number four. When one, Captain Reed two, learned three. to fly, his plane had five dials on its instrument panel. In a jet, there are more than 300 instruments. Uh, Lights are okay there. there, okay. Doppler, on Doppler. Okay, on mag zero and plus. Mag zero and plus. 
Japan. And the range, 248 on, on antenna and vehicle is on. On. While the crew is checking, the fuel is being piped into tanks in the wings from an underground reservoir. All warning. For this single flight, they have pumped in 20,000 gallons of fuel, enough to drive an average car for 30 years. Transcanada Airlines, flight 884. Their destination, Jamaica. A century ago, it was a journey that could take weeks of traveling, by train or coach and by sailing ship. So only a very few people, rich or adventurous, ever dreamed of going to an island in the distant Caribbean Sea. These people will make the trip in four hours. Seat belts are fastened. It is a few minutes before departure, time to start the engines. Starting three. Six miles above the surface of the Earth, the sun is almost always shining. Certainly a beautiful day, isn't it? Yes. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Captain Reed speaking. At the present time, we are flying at 35,000 feet. 
Our ground speed is 610 miles per hour, and the outside air temperature at this altitude is 45 degrees below zero. We will be landing at Montego Bay, and uh, the forecast of weather is excellent with a temperature of 85 degrees. Thank you. We're estimating Alpha 1 at uh, 1810, Wendy. Uh, Roger, John. The radar picture is very good, John. Yes, check the thunderstorm at 2 o'clock position. Uh, we'll bypass it by at least 50 miles. Montego Bay forecast is good. It is now four hours flying time since they took off from Montreal. In that time, they have flown over regions of ice and snow, south over strings of green islands in a blue sea. And now, just ahead, their destination in Jamaica. Montreal, 13 above zero. Montego Bay, 85. In town. Look how the people running around. Don't worry to ask the reason. For you know that it's bread food season. Yes, when the bread food season come, we all know say that hungry done. So hurry, hurry, hurry to the nearest market. Hurry, hurry, Mother Murray. Before the eagle a hawk it. But when the breadfruit season comes, we all know say that hungry done. It's tremendous, isn't it? To think that all our cars are snowed in. How about yours, Leo? Have you got your snow tires on? Not yet. Boy, you're gonna need them. That's for sure. In Montego Bay, the temperature never drops below 60 degrees. And the island is famous for sugar cane and ginger, bananas and pineapples, oranges and limes, which grow here luxuriantly. Twenty years ago, Montego Bay was a sleepy little town that few had ever heard of. Today, people come to this beautiful place from many parts of the world. Thirty planes a day now land here. The one coming in left London, England, four hours before this crew left Montreal. Montego latest weather wind indicating 065 at 25 phase 14. And when the jet pilot goes to work, he doesn't consider himself a hero. It's his job. A job of tremendous importance, for it brings distant places to our doorstep. It makes neighbors of us all. <laughs> Flight 885 is now loading at gate 6. Thank you. Montego Bay Tire, this is Transcanal Flight 885, taxi clearance. Roger, 885, clear the taxi to take off position, runway 06, wind indicating 065 at 24. The pressure 1020 decimal 6 millibars, 3014 inches. Go ahead. Roger, Transcanal Flight 885 is ready for takeoff. Roger, 885, clear takeoff, wind indicating 065 at 26. Roger, 885 is rolling. 